I got a one, a two, a three, and a hey now. Are we subdued? Why, baby sleeping? Lady of the home is sleeping. I'm down in the bunker. It is a brutal 14 degrees out today with a crisp bite in the air, cold as can be here in Minnesota. I'm down in the bunker. I got the lights on, but actually we got the sun peeking in. Amazing. What are we going to do for a video? Always, always shot from the hip, unscripted. There's not a one of my videos that's scripted. Not a one. From my interviews to this to that. Sometimes there's an idea. But hell, and I ain't bragging either. <laughs> Let's try to work on our camera work today, huh? Uh, it, it's such, it's, I've got such good light in the bunker. Let me try to not move, get some good shots of some of the collection. I'm really trying to uh, work on keeping the camera still for you guys and seeing what I can do to get you better shots. What that crazy little sound in the background is there. That is the baby monitor with the video, so I can keep an eye. I love jigglers. If anyone's got any jigglers for sale, there's the prisoner that would hang on the wall. There are all kinds of them. I love them. There's a buzzard in there with no head. Some of you might recognize this from the barter work over at the Golden Lion. Yes, I took this pitiful plaster Indian couldn't resist even with the chips which I pathetically just rubbed a little brown marker on and that didn't do so well but I couldn't leave him down there I knew he was doomed to a horrible fate if I did let's see if I can't turn the monitor down a little bit for you guys huh there's an old business card calling card of Marty's let's get that up. Rest in peace, Gilbert. These are his old cards here. Just as simple as can be. Rest in peace, man. Got a lot of these down in here. Sort of religious things, uh, crucifixes. A lot of these old lodge ribbons you can't see them because they're piled under quite a bit of stuff there's a stack of original copies propaganda third reich uh, nasdap basically they're just like uh almost postcards just for the military would buy them you know on the bases whatever combat pictures got a big stack of them I like to trade them really don't have a market to sell them other than maybe the flea market but I'd like to let let them go there's quite a few there everything from Hitler to whatever another piece uh, in the golden lion barter back here we've got a toy that's pretty cool the USS battle wagon ship that is also up for trade Let's get a nice shot of what we've got there, huh? Uncover it a little bit. It's not all there, but there's no major cracks or damage. Oh, the sun's going down. <laughs> Whenever it happens here in Minnesota, it's so brutal and cold, and uh, it can become so eerily dark. It's almost like uh, that movie Van Helsing. You expect the vampire women to come out of a well somewhere immediately when the cloud cover goes. So what we got here is the USS Battle Wagon. What's that? Which I'm not going to answer, but I'm going to show you what it is. I'm sure you guys already know. That's the workshop phone. The bat phone. Nice vintage skateboards. That is a neighbor's truck running in the distance. You know what I always hate is, okay, well here, 
Sorry guys, you're gonna have to come with me. We're gonna wobble. We're gonna get you dizzy. I'll try to keep the camera. Gotta make sure that it's not one of my kids at school. Nothing. Here's a turntable that I didn't, I did not get in there yesterday. Real nice old one. That's not helping it. What is this now? It's a Pioneer. Yeah. Here's the catalog for it, I guess. Pioneer PL A45D. <clears throat> Interesting piece I got out of uh, that barter. Personalized. It was like what a, a gun, homemade gun holster. This is nothing special. Picked this up at a garage sale for like ten bucks a few years ago. It's a uh, post World War II, uh, I think East German helmet, but. This is original uh, trench art on it, or hippie art, whatever you would want. Someone painted it on years back. It's not modern. A rose with a sword in it, and you know, someone would Q-tip. It says on the front. Guys would use these on motorcycles. They also painted it black. You can see. There. Interesting. Never thought to look to see if there were decals under that black paint. Whatever the case for 10 bucks maybe it's worth 20 maybe it's worth 40 there's that awesome leather bag right we can get that going so here's that battle wagon again let's get back to that the sun's back it's got the jet catapult overall missing a few men maybe some large torpedoes but I'd like to trade that that's a beast should go on Craigslist or uh, actually I did try to sell it on Craigslist a few years ago. Couldn't get a bite on the freaking thing. <clears throat> Good old advertising piece for a old buggy company. German butcher bayonet, World War One, United States Marine Corps. You guys have seen this one before. I don't know why I'm showing you that. century. She's just a tough old woman. Brutal silver frame. This is really cool. Religious piece. The eyes are glass eyes. Very real lifelike eyes. Tins. Couple old car radios. Vintage Super Surfer. Some arrows. My pitiful junk gun collection that needs to be getting gotten rid of. God, there must be more. I guess not. Those will move out eventually. Some old Griswolds back there, eh? There's a really cool uh, mid-century wall lamp. This actually came with the house when I bought it. And here it sits. This is actually pretty cool. Nothing special, but pretty cool. Lots of junk. Albums. Got these out of the Golden Lion. I liked them. Nothing special at all, but the legs are really cool. This skateboard here. Gotta love it. See the light shine through it. Beautiful. Vintage. Original. Just wading through here. Got albums to my left. Junk piled to my left. Tiny path. Tubs. Rock'em sock'em. Don't know why I bought that. Just love this. Great dumpster find. 
And this ugly girl, she cannot, she cannot not make an appearance. You gotta love this, eh? I love these. These old football helmets, one bar, and these with the weird uh, face masks. Freaking grew up with them. Back in the day when I was a kid, in the uh, late 70s, 80s, and even mid-70s, you could go to a garage sale, flea market, and you could get these all day long for like 25 cents, 50 cents. Oh, if I only freaking knew. I like these ones. I thought I had one more down here. A really brutal one. One bar. Oh, there she is. Look, I call everything she. This, I just love these, man. You know? There's just nothing uh, overly fantastic about them other than they're just cool as shit. And I guess you can hit the moon on them if you get the right one. But uh, these ones are the more unique ones. I've got a whole freaking uh, barn full of other ones. A welding mask. And that's it, guys. You can come back with me here for a minute and I can ramble while I put these uh, photos back. Now, what are these again? These are copies, but they're actually uh, copied during the war and sold for just propaganda, whatever. You know, after the war, they had all these huge shops in Germany. If you're familiar with uh, German collectibles and stuff, and they'd sell flags, paper flags, and... Adolf Hitler this, Adolf Hitler that, all kinds of uh, propaganda shit to uh, further the Reich. And that's just one of them. You'd buy a stack of those, you know. Um, also, they do have cigarette albums. Now, here's a cool piece. This is goofy. Don't ask me why I'm pulling this out. Maybe wasting your time with my junk, but this one is sentimental on some level. Growing up in the 1970s, you'd get these cheap birthday cakes. You'd buy them, you know, at Kmart, wherever the hell you would buy them. And you'd get things like this, though, on top of the birthday cake. And that's what this is. This is off of an old birthday cake. This would, uh, is made in Hong Kong. Hell, I don't see a break on it. The Cyclone. Gotta love it. Hopefully, let's get a right shot, a nice shot of this. It's really cool, eh? It just totally brings me back. Man, I'm telling you, growing up in the 70s was rad. But it is better today with all our technology. We did lose something, though, by losing that old schoolness. But let's face it, guys like me, I watched my dad struggle to keep a business alive selling uh, collectibles in, in the 70s. And you either had to go to shows or... Uh, these are other pieces I've got quite a few of. These are, uh, you would get these in gumball machines and stuff. This is just like a guy with a bone in his nose. I've got all kinds of goofy little stuff like that. Uh, smalls. Alright guys, here's those things I call the jiggler. Is the proper name for them. Do your research. This is what they are. They're kind of an oily rubber. I absolutely adore them. If anyone has any, any of these, I'd trade for them. Uh, any condition. Just love them. I mean, when I say any condition, <laughs> I mean, I don't have a large collection of them. I've got like three or four of them, I think. But uh, this one doesn't even have a head, and it's totally pitiful, and I keep it. Here's, here's my favorite one, I guess. Well, the monkey is probably my favorite that I showed you, but this one, brutal. He'll crush your head, fool. Get out of here, hippie. <laughs> that is too hard. That's rest in peace, Vince. That's a shout out to my old friend, Vince. That's how he talked. He was crazy. All right, guys. So I'm doing what I said I would do. Get everything back to normal. It's nothing worse. When I get done, I'll get done filming these. I'll look around and I made a little mess. So you guys are going to be tortured. And you're going to watch me put this shit back. Because I am totally obsessive compulsive, if you cannot tell, huh? Freaking craziness. All right, we're shutting down the bunker now. My hands are freezing. Everything looks cool. I hope I gave you guys a fun little video. That's all I wanted to do. There's that phone slightly cleaned up. But I'll tell you what, there is a downfall. This smells like a fucking garbage truck. 
I mean, literally. <laughs> I can... No, well, maybe not so much anymore. But it did, dude. <laughs> oh, there I go, and, then, and no disrespect. I said the word dude. I know some people don't like that. Whoever y'all are out there watching my videos, I appreciate it. I do them for fun, and I hope you enjoy them. And I guess uh, when it comes down to it, beer busts are better. Hater!